Good evening everyone. Today I make <clears throat> again a different video. I come home before a couple of minutes and I hear in my incubator my quail <laughs> start to hatch. I, I hear tweeting. So I look and about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, it was only one inside. I think I heard more, maybe more have hatch. So this now I prepare this video. I have shoot a couple times. I show how I put my eggs inside, how I fix the incubator and every day I make something and I put everything in my laptop, not in the desktop and yesterday I want to transfer the all videos from here to the desktop in a memory stick and I lose everything. <laughs> I lose all the footage what I make about 10 days now for this video how I put my eggs inside and every day I check and I saw what exactly I do because the last five days I spray with water the eggs so that the eggshell get very soft that the quail can hatch easier so just a moment to turn the camera and show you what's happened in the incubator I say before 15-20 minutes it was only one inside and I heard more voices I heard inside scratching so this means maybe it's more hatch more quail so just a moment to take the camera and show you what's happened inside in the incubator and hopefully we have more I have put 84 eggs until now it was only one so hopefully now when I open the incubator it will be more inside so that I can show you and to warm up the brooder I have one on the insulate box where I, where I will put inside the hatched quail and in a couple days I will in all the quail hatch I will show you again what's happened inside there so just a moment to turn the camera to show you what's happened in the incubator so let's open the incubator to show you what's inside hopefully more quail have hatched it was only one before F1 another one there too watched it's fresh hatched you can see it's still wet and there's the other <laughs> they're doing things so let's close again that the incubator don't lose the heat this is the alarm that the heat go down and the humidity go down at the moment inside is how you can see is 65 percent humidity and 36.3 uh, Celsius it's 19 days today so it's today start the hatching 19 days usually it's 17 18 okay this is the automatically turner for the eggs but I take out the tray so just a moment to turn again the camera seen only two hatched till now 19 days later 18 because I has one day warming up before every time I do this and when you use incubators better you warm the incubator one day before on so when you put the eggs inside everything is ready the temperature is exactly where it must be and the humidity exactly the same so be in the same place and yes we have seen two quail so uh, maybe I will shoot later more videos when uh, the rest of the quail hatch because I don't know how many maybe they will hatch all today or tomorrow I will shoot I will make a video from everything I will warm up now the brooder so that I can put 
after one hour when the quail get dry to transfer them in the brooder and put them a little bit I have to buy specific food for the new hatched quail and I will put a small tray with food inside and waters that the quail can eat and drink later on I don't know if they today will eat and drink I will train them and I will show you the whole process you will see I will build up there the new stables up there with the last video I've seen where I broke off the, do the doors and the concrete water tanks I work again I work on it at the moment to build the roof and after I will fix nice big cages for the quail because it's 84 eggs inside and if all of them hatch <laughs> I need very big uh, space for them big cage not one I be believe I will fix two or three so that I may separate them because inside there is three different species I have golden I have the white one and the brown the, the normal one this species grows very big is the jumbo quail is <laughs> I don't know like this big like a small chicken uh, is I think two or three times bigger than the normal quail let it grow <laughs> you will see how big these things are you will see my ducks my chickens uh, yes I will bring more animals later on not immediately I will bring sheep, goat uh, I'm searching now to find alpaca because it's very difficult to find in my country I found llama but I don't want llama it's, first of all they are ugly and second the fight means two males inside the one trying to kill the other and couple friends of mine he has a llama and he was aggressive animals so I don't want llama I want alpaca it's very sweet <laughs> nice animal I've talked with somebody it's a big farm in the mainland I found a bison I won't bring two or three bisons for me and a couple uh, deer but red stock with very, <clears throat> very, very big horns. So you will see slowly, slowly everything. Not I, this. My plan is in the next one, maybe two years, because I want fix my farm good that the animal don't can run away, that he don't go can go in my greenhouses or eat my olive trees, <laughs> because. The sheep, the goat, they love the leaves of the olive trees, and when they go out, when they get out of the, the enclosure that we have them before, they eat the branches, they eat the leaves, and they, they destroy the, <laughs> our trees. In, in the greenhouses, they eat a lot of zucchini plants, my, our eggplants, and our paprikas, they love these things. When they get in the greenhouse, they destroy everything. They don't let nothing. <laughs> so, see you next time. When I, when the quail, more quail have hatched, and I have bring them in the brooder. So, see you later. Come maybe more after tomorrow. <laughs> so, goodbye. Have a nice evening, and hopefully, you like my videos. Give a thumbs up. And a nice comment below. So, goodbye.